Hey, what's going on? It's Brandon here. And in today's video, what I wanted to do is to go over the show schedule notification button. Now, this is something that we had a customer reach out to us on. And if you guys have questions and comments, we like to get back to you with the answers. And so that's the whole goal of this video today is to talk about this show schedule notification button. So let's jump into this. So I'm inside a live pigeon. The only way that you can actually see this option is if you click to schedule a video. Now that's important because if you look over here, it says show schedule notification and it's turned on. That is the default um, is that it does turn on. Now I'm gonna open up Facebook real quick to show you that this is what it will look like as the default um, notification. So in other words, this is saying, hey, we're gonna let everyone know ahead of time that you're gonna be going live. So if I click over here, it's basically, since I don't have a background image, it is pulling a default image that I have uploaded. And so if I scroll down here, that is the image that's used. Now you might be saying, okay, I want to notify everybody but I, I don't like the image that it chose. Well, the nice thing is, if you come back over to Live Pigeon here, underneath the Show Schedule Notification button, you can see one called Use a Custom Thumbnail. If I turn that on, this will show me kind of roughly what it's going to look like. And if I click Choose Thumbnail, I can actually go ahead and just choose an image. It then brings up this cool photo picker that allows me to adjust the photo. So, you know, if I want to be like off center here, I can even shrink this up. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And if I wanted it to be over to the side like that, I can go ahead and hit save. And then this is how it's going to look inside of Facebook. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you, I've already uploaded a video file um, and created a different post and this is how that looks. And it's just nice and it's inviting if you're wanting to let people know ahead of time that you're gonna be going live. So now that I've shown you those two options, let's talk about for a minute if we turn these off. Now you might be asking like, okay, well in what situation would I want to not show someone that I'm gonna be going live, right? And this all comes down to I guess if you want to be a little bit more stealth in the way in which you are using Live Pigeon and how you're scheduling out your content. So a good example of this is there's a seven day window that you can actually go live to to Facebook, right? And that's why we have, you can't go out to the 17th until tomorrow, right? Or depending on when you're watching this, whatever day that is, um, you can only schedule out up to seven days in advance. And so if you, let's say, chose one day a week to record all of your content, and then every day you're gonna be dripping this out to go live, if you scheduled out five videos and you had the show schedule notification turned on, then there would be five posts in your Facebook news feed that you're gonna go live, and that might confuse customers or uh, your audience. It might confuse your audience on what, which ones they're supposed to be tuning into, right? But the nice thing is what you could do is I could maybe on Monday turn the show schedule notification on, but then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, let's say I turn them all off so that they only get a notification once. And then each day after that, you could tell everyone, hey, tune in. In fact, let's do that. Hey, everyone, tune in at 7 p.m. tonight. Um, in fact, I'm going to be going live every single day this week at 7 o'clock. So make sure you don't miss it, you know? Um, again, you can kind of train your audience on the frequency or when you actually go live. But again, this might be a nice feature to be able to turn it off. The other thing is you might wanna make it look more spontaneous that you're going live. So like, let's say I wanna go live at 8.06, okay? Um, or let's say um, uh, 10.36 right? Just different. So it's not like you're going live at the top of the hour, because let's say everybody else is going live at the top of the hour, right? You might want to choose a different time. But if you schedule it this way, that might look kind of odd. But if you wanted to, you could actually schedule this without showing a schedule notification. And then your video will just appear live 
and it makes it look like you're actually just spontaneously going live. Does that make sense? Anyway, I love this feature and having the ability to turn things on and off. Again, uh, we had a customer reach out to us who was going live every single day, but they were posting on one day for the rest of the week and they had requested, hey, is there any way that we can turn off the notification that's showing up in the news feed? And we were like, yes, we can totally do that. And so we created the tool and it is here. So what I'd like to do now is in closing, just to let you guys know that at the bottom of every page, almost inside of Live Pigeon, we put our contact information to get a hold of us. We've got email here. We've got the phone number. We even have a chat feature. Um, if you want to get a hold of us, the best way I think is by phone. Uh, give us a call. Let us know how we can best serve you and help you. Again, our goal is how can we help you to get your message out into the world? And we can't help you unless you reach out to us if you do need some help or assistance. So again, we are here to help you. Thank you so much uh, for tuning into this video today. Again, my name is Brandon. And until next time.